Hey guys, we're outside of the Whitewater Township Community Center and I was talking to some of the residents in the affected area who have been evacuated from their homes. Gina is one of those unfortunate souls. One of the things I was wondering about, two things actually, what do people do if they have to go to work? And what do people do if they have dogs and they have animals? You're both those, you check yes. both those, so what are you doing? Well, yesterday when I asked the police officers if I could get in town to get my dogs, they told me no, they were concerned about human lives only. And so luckily my parents were still in the town and were able to go get my dogs and bring them to me. Of course. So, um, Did they sneak in? How'd they get in there? No, they live in the town also. Oh, okay. And luckily they had a key to my house so they could get in to rescue them um, because I was not going to sit still for my dogs being stuck in there by themselves for an unlimited amount of time. Right. Um, this morning, my husband and I, we don't have a choice. We had to go to work because our jobs required us to. My husband's the only driver for his company and the other driver's out sick, so we had to show up to deliver equipment. And the company I work for is having an ISO audit and me missing today or tomorrow is not an option. You have to go to work. Uh, yes. what, what, what do you hope to happen here? Um, it, I was just hoping to keep my family together and be able to stay in one place, but I don't want to stay at a two-star hotel either. I know, I agree. You know, I don't live like that. So I, you know, I'm hoping that they get this cleared up and that we can go back home soon. And I understand and I'm thankful that we still have homes to go to because yes. the situation could be a lot worse. It could be. It's you not know. good. Gina, thanks. Um, thank you. I'll keep talking to you and if I can help you, we will. Okay, thank uh, you. I'm going to send it back into you, Megan. Tricia, thanks. And as we've been promising since this story broke, we're going to continue to follow every angle of it for you throughout the afternoon. You can also stay up to date using our Fox 19 Now mobile news app. All you have to do is scan that QR code to download it. There you can find all of our coverage so far and a story explaining what styrene gas is and how it can impact your health.